Hey you guys, we have done our schoolwork. I have spent way too much time on the computer. I'll explain that later. Are you going out, Chels? Yeah, I'm going to play. The sun just came out. It's been pouring rain all night and all day, all yesterday. So the girls are excited that there's at least sunshine out. It's a little chilly. I'm going to go out and check Ashley's bike. The chains came off yesterday. Or two, yeah, a couple days ago. But I'm kind of thinking that it's time for her to get a new bike. This bike has gone through all four of my kids. So I think it might be time. Right, Ash? Yeah. She's excited. Dad really wants to try and get the chain to go back on. Dad, don't get your hands dirty. Okay. So Ashley, I need you to stand over the bike and I need to, yes, I know the seat can go up, but I want to see yeah. if it's just time to get a bigger bike. I can't even touch it. You can't touch? Go out there to the outside. It's like touching all the way. Ash, so we raised the seat up. All right, let me see if I can get the, the uh, chain back on. I think you could yeah, use it for a little while longer. Just like a little bit. Just a little longer, yeah. Okay, go see if they can play. Have fun. Okay, mom saved the day. I got the chain, chain back on. Yeah. All right, well, I think you're good for a little, uh, maybe another couple months, maybe this summer. Yeah. Next summer, maybe you get a new bike. Maybe your birthday next year? That'd be fun. Okay, go ahead. I don't think she remembered her helmet. So I will have to walk that over to her. And I don't think Chelsea wore her helmet. In fact, I'm almost positive. Where did she put hers? So let me go do that real quick. Helmets are much, much safer. Okay, Goober? Don't go out without it again, okay? All the girls are gonna come out and play on their bikes, right? Yeah. Okay, go have fun. So it's really sunny and nice. There's a chill to the air, but it's really nice to have the sun out. It's been raining so much. Let's see how my plants are doing. Look how tall these plants are. This is crazy. Clearly these guys like rain. They're like super huge. And then they just grow and grow and grow and then all of a sudden they'll bloom with flowers. Checking in on my peonies. And now the ones that I thought were gonna do way better, they're brighter green, they're smaller than my original bush. But that's okay, because now I'm gonna get even more peonies out of this. I didn't think it was gonna do well a couple years ago, but maybe I'll actually start getting them to grow better. And that's like all the plants <laughs> that I even care to take care of. The rest just take care of themselves, which is half the reason why I love the Northwest. Do you have the right plants? They do their own thing. So Jason is at work and I get this video message from him, I don't know, about an hour ago. It's uh, two o'clock. <laughs> yes, that's how long it takes us to get our day going. I just finished cleaning up after my kids while I chat with you. Um, if you haven't ever had this jelly from Costco, it's blueberry spread, Pacific Northwest blueberry spread. So maybe that's pretty specific to our area. So good. It's good on toast, and sandwiches, bagels, add a little cream cheese to it. It's good on pancakes and waffles. Anyway, super good. I digress. But an hour ago, Jason sent me this video about with all the sirens and alarms going off at his work, at our store, the you Onishu know, store, if you're new. And I was like, what is going on? And he, he called me. And he said all the fire alarms went off and he thinks that they're, but all the fire trucks showed up and people were on the roof and it was kind of dramatic. But we can check out his footage right here and then I'll be right back. Cause I don't know what I'm gonna go do. I don't know. Um, so I think everything is okay. He said that they were doing some duct work on like the buildings 
heating units or AC units or something. You checked out Jason's footage. Everything's fine. Last night, I, or no, it was like at, I don't know, 7.30 this morning when I woke up. And I was like, why am I so hungry? <laughs> I didn't eat dinner last night. That's how our days go. It's just, and we eat lunch at like, usually like three or four o'clock. I'm ahead of the game, it's two o'clock. I'm trying to get onto a normal schedule to eat dinner at a normal time, mainly because Jason at our store, he's gonna change their store hours. They Right now they close at six o'clock and that's normal for, in general, but they don't open until noon, quarantine hours or whatever. There's not a lot of traffic after six o'clock because no one's coming home from work and no one's out and about. They're all kind of hunkered back down. And so he's gonna switch their hours um, to like 11 to five. So he'll start coming home. <laughs> not that he expects me to make dinners. He just doesn't. He's not, he's not really that kind of guy. He doesn't like demand that I have food on the table when he gets home. He likes to but he doesn't get upset. Like last night, we just didn't have anything made because none of us were hungry at the time he got home. I'm making a salad, by the way. We've been into making salads. Probably a good thing. But he just ate the mac and cheese that Chelsea made like an hour before he got home. So he was fine with that. But I just feel bad if he's gonna start being home a lot earlier if we aren't gonna have a meal. So tonight, I'm gonna try and have orange chicken or Hawaiian chicken made. I don't know, we'll see when he gets home so that he has, a, at least he has a meal. Even if I'm not hungry right when he gets home, I might be hungry by seven if I eat it too. So, sorry about that guys. Ran out of space on my disc. So I had to hurry and get some, that, some of that footage pulled off really quick. But I've got my salad, my salad and my fruit, I've got fruit uh, oranges and strawberries and my cottage cheese. I don't like making lunch at home. I don't like making the mess. I don't like cooking during the day. I don't like the fuss and muss of lunch. So I've got my salad over there in that bowl. I'm willing to cut up a few things and put it on a plate. That's about <laughs> the extent that I'm willing to go for lunch. Um, I can hear my kids outside playing and I see dark clouds coming. I really hope they can get Oh, I think it's starting to rain. I really hope that they got longer. I was hoping they'd get longer than that. I think Chelsea just called to Ashley to come back. I can hear him playing though, which like makes my heart happy. Um, two of the other moms in our neighborhood have kind of agreed. These kids need each other. <laughs> so they are riding bikes, which is about as socially distant as kids can get and still have fun together. Plus, Chelsea's been coming up with all these games, these socially distant games. She's even got one out on the front sidewalk. Um, I think it probably washed away from the rain last night, but it was really cute because you had to stay six feet away to play the game, <laughs> which is very creative. So I'm gonna eat, eat my lunch. I actually might go to Costco just because I'm bored. I know my father-in-law went the other day, but I'm looking for that swing chair, another one. And I'm kind of hoping if I go on a rainy day, people aren't, aren't thinking about getting their summer stuff. So I might go do that just for something to go do. Um, I can't take any of the kids with me. Oh, yesterday. So, okay, so for you guys, it was last week. But I did a video for um, Ikea hacks, tips, and tricks, and whatnot. That might have seemed random to my regular followers. And yes, it was totally random. I actually had to push forward a lot of our daily like vlog style videos to put that one out when I did because I'm doing a 30 day challenge with Daryl Eves and he's like this big YouTube guru and he kind of teaches people how to grow your channel. He's actually like created many, many multi-million subscriber channels himself and he manages them and he has like all these gold plated, you know, anyway, this, it's a thing. So I'm in a challenge with him and I'm trying to grow my channel. So I've been obsessed with the computer and analytics and all the things YouTube. So even though I'm sitting here at my desk, I'm only sitting here because I was trying to get the footage off of this camera, but I need to step away from this computer. Like I need to be away from it. I was up till one in the morning working on that video. But if you go back and watch it, I would appreciate it. Even if you're not 
into like Ikea hacks and stuff. But I want you to go back and watch it because as I was editing the video and like working through it late last night, I realized that I exposed my um, stash of cookies. So I want you to go see if you can find my bag of cookies in that video. Tell me where it is in the comments below, here or in that video. Actually, probably just do it in that video um, to prove that you've actually watched that video just for the fun of it. But go find my stash. Ashley has already found my stash of cookie cookies, haven't you, Ashley? Did it start to rain? Yeah. Oh, you didn't get very far. That's a bummer. Right? Did you already find my stash of cookies the other day? Come over here, you're backlit. Did you find it? Yeah. Don't tell them where it is, because I was editing that video, and I... It, there, it's in that video, so I want them to see if they can find it in the video. Oh, can I find it? No, those are my cookies. You guys already Well, you hid them in, you did, you hid them in a, in a different spot right now. You I, hid them different. Yes, I did. Do you see them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> That's because it's on your level. I need to get it off of your level. <laughs> so, she can see my, where my cookies are right now. Well, if you hi, um, hide it. Um, higher than Charles, they can see it if you hide it higher, Abby can see I know, I have to go above Kaylee, which is above me, which then I can't reach it. And then Dad can reach it. I know, and then Dad finds it. And then... I got them Oreos yesterday, and they're gone. Yeah, wait, I don't know how they're gone, but Abby, like... I do, your piggies! I didn't even find them, I never You were eating them. them all last night, don't even talk to me about I not eating I them. I ate them yesterday, but I didn't eat them like... I bet Kaylee took a bunch them. of them, because she said she didn't get any yesterday. Regardless, go watch that video, find the cookies, I'm gonna eat my lunch. You, do you need to go eat? No. Yes, you do? No. Okay, go away, leave me alone. You guys, you saw me walking in the bright sunshine with the children, and it's been five minutes <laughs> since they came in. It's like a torrential downpour already. And they're eating the last of the strawberries yet again. Well, not like, that much, but there's just a few left. And Ashley's using a butter knife. Not even a butter knife. Literally a butter <laughs> knife. The knife you put in the butter. Because <laughs> she doesn't want to cut herself. No, I just... She's having strawberries and banana. half of a banana. <laughs> Leftover banana from someone. I can't cut it. I cut... You got it. There you go. Okay. So I am trying to leave certain older child of mine needs to get out of the house aka away from her bedroom yeah she's been in her room too much and her friend Evelyn has been in front of uh, Minecraft and or Fortnite for too long <laughs> just chatting with her mom last night online or via I think it was messenger and uh, they have they have a good schedule there and Kaylee's getting her homework done here it's just there's nothing else to do so like you can't Take away the electronics, electronics, because then there's just nothing to do. But I just need to get her out of the house. So usually Kaylee doesn't like me to film, but Evelyn doesn't mind it. So I probably, but Evelyn isn't willing to leave her house and stop playing Fortnite. So I am going to show up at her house and tell her I'll get her a milkshake, but she has to put down the root boat <laughs> or the controller. So, and Kaylee's putting on makeup to go to McDonald's, yeah. right, Abby? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I put makeup on today, and that's the only place I'm going, but. Are you just going to McDonald's? I don't know. No, probably. Probably. Can you guys see the fog and, like, steam? I guess it's steam. <laughs> it's steam. I got the wrong word. My teenager is making fun of me. <laughs> I'm going to show you on camera if you don't stop laughing at me. So not only was I able to convince our teenager to leave the house, um, I was able to convince Kaylee's friend Evelyn to leave the house. And if you remember, it's been a couple weeks, it's actually been like, what, Abby, like a month since they've hung out together? It's been a long time. They had a little squabble and then they just got bored playing the same games <laughs> over at Evelyn's house. So they haven't hung out together, but they used to hang out during quarantine and we were okay with that. So I stole Evelyn. Told her I'd buy her a milkshake if she came with us, and she willingly came in the car, drove around instead of driving back home, and now Kaylee's over there. So Abby is enjoying the house to herself right now because Chelsea and Ashley went back outside because it stopped raining again, and that it's like steaming on the streets because it keeps going back and forth. 
between sunshine and cold rain. But Abby's making a cute cake for my father-in-law. His birthday is tomorrow, and we're gonna do a drive-by family birthday drive-by for him. So she's made these three cakes right here, and then she cut out the center of two of them and stacked them up. We're gonna make them a little mini cake. And then I think we can just stack these ones up, Abby, and just make our own yeah. empty cake. So she doesn't like to be filmed. So I will come back to that cake as soon as she has it all frosted up. We're just gonna do a little miniature cake for him. A cupcake wasn't quite enough, and but you know, wanted to kind of celebrate his birthday. My sister-in-law's taking him his favorite meat. I can't remember if she's taking like a meat dish to him, and then my other sister-in-law is taking him a potato dish, and like it's probably some veggies or something, and then I'm obviously bringing the dessert, and we're just gonna drive by, drop off a meal, a birthday meal, and birthday cake, and I need to remember a present. For the first time, oh, you're back again? <laughs> is it raining again? Are you kidding me? We were just, you guys, I have literally turned this camera on for the amount of time I've been home. So, 53 seconds. It was for me. No, it's been a minute and a half. Raining again. Like, That's crazy. Like, it's raining it. all over again. And I have a package. It's my new phone case. Okay, okay. all right, take your shoes off. Did you have fun while, you, while it lasted again? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll get more time, but it's not all at one time, right? Well, uh, my chain fell off again. Oh, it did? Well, so I'm going to try to fix it. And uh, it maybe got, you... Well, I got fixed. She fixed it. Okay. Is it's... Chelsea coming in the garage? Can you go open the door for her? No. She's not coming in? Well, I saw her come in, but I don't know if she okay. just went up the hill and did nothing or ride it around. Oh, we'll go see if she needs the garage, garage opened up. This is the point in the day when I am the most tired. It's five o'clock. Kaylee now wants to go driving. So I've been trying to keep myself awake here at the desk where I didn't want to be. I wanted to be on the couch, willing myself to fall asleep, allowing myself to fall asleep for a half hour, 40 minutes or so. Sorry, really close because I've got the camera. As Kaylee said, she has gotten dressed for the day and wants to go out and I can't. That's what I've been trying to get her to do, so. Ashley, I'm gonna take Kaylee driving, okay? She's over there nuzzled in the corner. Can't even see her. She boxes herself in with pillows. So, Ashley, I'm gonna take Kaylee, okay? You're tired, huh? Mm -hmm. See, that's why I didn't get on the couch. Because I knew I'd fall asleep like that. You're you're sleepy. I probably will make a proposition that I have to let her I have to show her driving. If usually I'm not filming on a day she drives. Or Jason just doesn't take the camera or whatever. But maybe I'll show you her driving skills. Find an empty parking lot. Let's go give that a shot. She's over at her friend's house still, so I'm gonna go pick her up. I want to be filmed. I just want to film you <laughs> driving. Okay. Going with you. We're in an empty parking lot. She's come down here before, and it's kind of a good one because not, here, but... not this back part of the parking lot. But you're doing pretty good. Just getting your hands in the steering wheel. All right, I'll get myself. She does really well. And this is a bigger parking lot, and it has side roads that they're just not being utilized right now because no one's at work. So it's actually quite handy to have this pandemic going on to learn how to drive. If you go down this main drive and then turn right and go into that little loopy by the other building. What? Here, I'll show you. So it's just the parking lot, but there's there, you're in the middle of the road, so you need to go over here. <laughs> I know it's hard because there's no lines on the road, um, but up here at the corner, Kaylee, you're gonna turn right. It doesn't go to any street; it just goes into the front of this building right here. All right, let's see if she can see. It just kind of goes up here by the building. It's just good practice because there's cars, so she has to be aware, but it's pretty much deserted. You got it. Go all the way to the end up there. There you go. Yep. She's got to be mindful of curbs. And then this is a good little loopy at the end over here. That's good. 
Oh, we can go that way, but I don't know where it ends. Let me look down there. Stop here. All right, see if she can clear the center island up here and the metal posts on the side of the road. You got it. Then turn right here. There you go. It's pretty good. I've been here, but I have to stay afloat. It's nice, Be a person you don't want. Can somebody take me other thing? Going to do, going to do. Where is the life I? now as she's purposely going through every single speed bump on purpose I need to go home and go to the bathroom okay okay and there's no restaurants or anything that you can go and use public restrooms at anymore so I think it's time to go home are you having fun though yeah. oh I forgot that I have to drive right are you done yeah you want to drive further out sure you're gonna pee your pants no I'm fine just don't hit all the speed bumps going out this way so well that but it's inevitable whether I'm driving it or you are yeah so just be careful and go slow she won't she'll go barreling over them <laughs> do you want to say good night to everyone good night my hair is a little messed up Ashley's been doing my hair kind of fun you learned how to do a French braid didn't you and buns and buns you perfected the buns didn't you <laughs> All right, can you say good night for it to everyone? Good night. You weren't really in our video today very much, but you had a good day? Mm hmm You like it when I get let you stay up? Mm -hmm. We have a lot on our plate tomorrow, so I need you to go get in bed, okay? Okay, okay good night.